Hi, this is Jeremiah from MyLIQ, and welcome to part two of the MyLIQ for Teams demo. In this video, I'll show you how to navigate through the Teams dashboard and what you can do as an admin. If you're interested in understanding the driver's experience, make sure to check out part one of this demo. As an admin, you can only access the Teams dashboard by logging into MyLIQ.com on a web browser. On the menu bar on the left, click onto the Teams dashboard. This opens up a new window into the Teams dashboard overview, where you can see a quick summary of your Teams activities. On the right side of the page, we'll share any MyLIQ admin updates, so be sure to check it out from time to time. Next, let's check out the Users tab. Here, you can create, view, or edit your team members. To start your team, you'll want to click on the Invite Users button at the top. Now, let's begin by writing in their email addresses. You can select their role by clicking at the drop-down menu. Please note that MyLIQ only charges a subscription fee for users who are drivers. Users who are only admins have access to the dashboard for free. If you have a large team, you can also upload a CSV file to send a bulk invitation. Once an invitation is sent, Team members will receive an email to download MyLIQ and accept the invitation to join your team. If they already have an individual account, don't worry. They don't need to create a new account. They simply need to accept the team invitation from the app or web browser. In this demo, our team has 14 users. There are three types of users, admins, drivers, and admins and drivers. If your team is on a standard or pro plan, Drivers can submit the reports directly into the admin dashboard, where admins can view them. This is a centralized database I mentioned in the report section from part one of this demo. Admins are users who have access to this dashboard and can review drives and set team features. Admins who are also drivers have access to this dashboard, review drives, set team features, and submit reports to the admin dashboard. Note. Any admins on Teams Lite plan will need to ask their drivers to submit mileage reports via email because reporting tools are not included in the Teams Lite plan. You can downgrade or upgrade users as well as remove them from the team by clicking on the three dots on the right. For users who have not yet accepted their invitation to join your team, you'll notice that they're grayed out. In those cases, you can resend an invitation or revoke the invitation. That's up to you. Now that your team has been created, let's open up the Drives tab and hop into the Approves section. Now, in the Drives to Approve section, pro admins can approve or reject submitted business drives for reimbursement. To start, set the dates you want to review. You can customize the range if you need to. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and review the September drives. All right, now that's been set, click onto a driver's name for review. You'll notice here that at the top, there's going to be a summary of all the drives within that filter review set. You can apply extra filters if you need to, but the date should carry over from the previous filter that you've set. You can click onto each drive for a closer look, and this pulls up their drive card. You can see if you click onto this map, you can see where they start from point A to point B, and this is going to be the exact route that they took for that drive. I want to point out that we have a manual column here. This little M symbol that you're seeing here, those mean that that drive card was manually added by the driver. Manually added drive cards could possibly be that they perhaps forgot their phone or their phone died, and that just basically means that the app did not track and create that drive card them ourselves. Now, if you need to take a closer look to make sure that these are accurate, you can always click into it. And you can see here that an admin left a comment on October 1st. So this was the lunch drive and it's not approved. We can go ahead and reject this. And that way I can show you an example of what it looks like when our app will calculate the reimbursement for you when we go into the report section. All right. Now let's say as an admin, I continue reviewing these drives. And honestly, there are a lot of drives here. So as I review through them, I'm gonna say the rest are gonna be approved. 
instead of clicking one by one to approve every single one of these, I can actually just zoom back out and click Quick Approve. And what that's going to do is with a single click, MyLIQ will approve the remaining drives. We'll see a little pop-up occur right at the bottom here as it starts to approve. There you go. Now, now that we've approved, reviewed those drives, let's hop into the Drives and Reports section. In the Drives and Reports section, you can download the driver's reports as a CSV file or PDF. You can click into an individual driver to see the final status of their business drives. Now let's click into Cache. At the top, you'll see that there's a summary of what's been approved. Make sure to check and apply any filters you need for an accurate report. Here are the filters that you can select from. The status of the drives, it, whether or not MyLiQ tracked the drives or if it was manually added. You can also check the purpose of those drives. Filters are important because any filter that you've applied will be reflected onto the report. If you catch any mistakes, you can always change the status of those drives by clicking on the three dots. Now, once this is all set, you can hit download reports and you can download cache or your driver's um, report as a PDF or a CSV file. If you want to download a bulk report of your team's drives, just zoom back out into the drives and reports section. Make sure the filter is applied as you need and then download the drive reports. This will generate a folder with each individual driver's report. Here's a PDF copy of the report. At the top, it shows you the name of the driver, the date range, and a summary of the drives. Below are the individual drives within the date range. Feel free to pause the video here if you need to take a closer look at the data that is provided in a PDF report. Next, here's what a report looks like when downloaded as a CSV file. It contains the team that they're on, the driver's name, start location and start time, end location and end time, the date, the purpose of that drive, the vehicle that was used, any notes they may have jotted down for that drive, if it was manually added, the total distance of that drive, the rate of reimbursement for those drives, any parking fees or toll fees, the total value of that drive, and the status, whether or not it was approved for reimbursement. Now feel free to pause this video to see the data provided in a CSV file. Now let's hop into the Reports tab. The Reports tab organizes reports by submission date. This tab is helpful if your organization processes reimbursements based on the report submission date. For example, if you reimburse employees at the end of the month. Here, you can see who submitted the drive reports, the date it was submitted, and the month those drives were conducted. You can narrow your data by applying filters at the top And you can also click into each row to take a closer look at the drives. When you're ready to download the driver's reports, you can either click here for individual reports, or you can come back out here, click download here, or if you want to download multiple individuals, you can select the drivers and download them as a PDF or CSV format. This will generate a folder with the individual driver reports in it. If you want to consolidate a driver's report, or in other words, all of your drivers in a single report, all you have to do is click Create a Report, and then select how you want the report to be organized. Let's do Year to Date and have a report that organizes the drives by month, and then we'll go ahead and click Download. A consolidated driver's report will be in a CSV format. Here's an example of a PDF report from the Reports tab. At the top, it shows you the driver's name, when this report was submitted, 
and the date range of the drives. Over here, we have a summary of the drive data within the report, and below are the individual drives. Please feel free to pause the video here if you need a moment to take a closer look. Here's an example of a report from the Reports tab in a CSV format. You have the driver information at the top, date range of the drives, and the date this report was submitted. Below are each of the drives. It shows the start date, end date, as well as the times. It shows the start location and end location, the purpose of that drive, the vehicle they used for that drive if they included the information, vehicle type, the distance of that drive, the rate of reimbursement, whether or not it was manually added, the mileage value of that drive, any tolls and or parking fees that incurred for that drive, and then the total value, which is the sum of the mileage, tolls, and parking. And over here, if they added any notes for those drives. Feel free to pause the video here if you need a moment to take a closer look. Here's an example of a consolidated report. You can see who the drivers were on the far left column, the driver's email, their team status, as well as their reimbursement value and mileage for each month. Feel free to pause the video if you need a moment. All right, now that we've covered the basics, let's talk about some of the admin features you can set for your team. First, let's talk about custom rates. By default, we'll set this rate based on your country's tax authority. Under the Pro Plan, you can change that rate if you need to go lower or higher based on your company's policy. All you have to do is click on Change Rate, set the rate, set the date you want it to go into effect, and this will change the reimbursement rate for your entire team starting the, at the date of your choosing. Next is Team Locations. This feature allows you to name addresses your teams travel to, like a client site or a vendor location, or even your own office. So when a driver starts or ends a drive at a team location, you as the admin will see the custom name during the review process and in the reports. To add a team location, all you have to do is click Add Team Location, type in that address, give it a custom name of your choosing, and you're all set. This will help you review drives much faster. And in our example here, we've named our warehouses and offices with the team location. Now, let's head back into the Drives to Approve, and let me show you an example of what that looks like. Over here in Charlotte's uh, rep report, we can see that she has started in the Chicago warehouse and went to this address, from the office to the warehouse. So, me as an admin, this helps me quickly scan through the reports and approve drives with team locations much faster, saving me time, and it also makes it easier to identify which drives may need to take a closer look. Now we're in the Settings tab, and let's talk about some of the features that are available in here. First up, Commute Mileage. This feature is available for users under the Pro Plan, and it allows you to set a team-wide commute distance, which gets automatically deducted from drives labeled as Business Commute. You can set the number over here, click Save, and that's it. This is especially useful for drivers who sometimes commute into the office, but on some days have to go directly into a non-office worksite. Next, we have Report Reminders. This feature takes the nagging for reports off your hands. Set the date and the frequency of your choosing. This will send a in-app notification and an email to all of your drivers, reminding them to submit the reports. This feature is also exclusive to the Pro Plan. And finally, for organizations who reimburse drivers through Concur, MileIQ offers an integration. Turning this on allows your drivers to submit their drive data directly into Concur. From there, 
whatever settings you've set on Concur for reimbursement will be applied to your driver's data. If you need help setting up this integration, please check out our Help Center for a step-by-step -step tutorial. And that concludes our demo of the Teams dashboard. Please check out our pricing page to review which plan will suit your needs. Once you sign up, you can always review or adjust your plan in the subscription tab. If you already have an individual MyLIQ account and want to create a team, log into the driver's dashboard on a web browser and find the team's dashboard on the left column. Click into it and it will walk you through the process. A notable difference between teams and a team with individual MyLIQ accounts is that billing will be unified under a primary admin's account. You can also try MyLIQ for Teams Pro for 30 days free of charge and with no restrictions. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at support at myliq.com. Safe driving, y'all.